the underground facility that couldn't be safely reopened. This facility was built underground to contain radioactive danger. Eventually, going back inside became the risk. This is S2, a former salt mine in Lower Saxony, Germany. In the 1960s, it was repurposed to store radioactive waste. Salt was chosen deliberately. It was believed to be dry, stable, and self-sealing. For years, that assumption held. Low and intermediate level waste was stored deep underground. The mine was monitored. Access was routine. Then the underground environment changed. Water began entering the mine. Not suddenly, but gradually. Salt caverns started to deform under pressure. Stability worsened year by year. The space designed to isolate risk began creating it. Eventually, returning underground became dangerous. Not just because of radiation, but because of collapsing voids, brine inflow, and structural uncertainty. Authorities faced a reversal. Leaving the waste untouched was no longer safe. But retrieving it would expose workers to serious underground risk. So S2 entered a limbo state. The site still exists. It is still actively monitored. But it cannot be reopened like a normal facility. S2 didn't fail all at once. It slowly became incompatible with safe access. It isn't abandoned. It's managed, sealed, and watched. A facility that hasn't ended. For more real-world mysteries where containment outlasts control, follow Fact Frenzy.